Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. So here I'm going to run through how you can analyze behavior of a particular element in your data set. In this case, I'm going to dive into customers. And so I want to analyze things like, okay, so based on uh, your products or through time, how much on average do our consumers purchase, purchase off us? Uh, on you know on those uh, on those particular dimensions, and also I want to look at well how many transactions on average buy a you know how many how many transactions on average do a cust do customers make our customer set make on any particular product, or also you could do it, you could do that through time. So these are the types of behavioural type uh, answers that you can retrieve from your data sets, and it's and the I would have to say the DAX formula is not terribly difficult the 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 main thing you have to understand is just iterating iterating functions or iterations um, how you can based on whatever context you're in how you can iterate through a different dimension and then analyze a result uh, off that fact so let's uh, let, let, let's show you how, how let's, let me show you how, how I did it uh, and hopefully you can um, sort of relate this back to some sort of insight that you might want to apply to your own um, to your own analysis. So, in this particular case, I want to see okay, what are the average sales per customer for a particular product, right? And now that I'm talking about it, I could think well, you could also say well, what is the average? What is the average price as well? There's another another per customer. There's another way you could do it. Um, but in this case, I'm saying, okay, based on, say, this particular product, 63 here, I want to see, on average, how much do our customers spend on that particular product, right? So how do I do it? Let's have a look. Uh, we've got to, first of all, well, first of all, we've got, to, we've got to do a formula like this, right? We've got to say, okay, for every single product, now the product, uh, you've got to think, what's the initial context? The initial context here is product 63. Based on that, product 63, iterate through every single customer and evaluate the total sales that that particular customer makes and then go and average that up, right? And that's going to give us, that is going to give us the average sales per customer, isn't it? You could also, if I just think about it, you could also just use the customer ID in here, you're going to get exactly the same uh, you're going to get exactly the same result. So it's totally up to you how you do that. Um, it's good to get a good understanding of what's happening in the data model there, for sure, because um, you want to understand why, why it could, why in some cases it could be different. But in this case, it's not. We're going to iterate. This what this is what values does, and we're going to iterate through every single customer who has purchased product 63, and we're going to evaluate how much they bought, and then it's going to average it up. That's what AverageX does. Now the thing is, is that this uh, this is going to be affected by whatever context we have on the customer name, right? And so what happens is that if we look at this column here, as I select, say, any one customer or grouping of customers, you're going to see that that iteration only actually only actually applies. If I can just find it, it only is only going to apply to the the additional context or the additional customers that we have actually selected here, right? And so this would only iterate through every customer if we didn't have, if we somehow in the formula got rid of any filter that is coming from this particular table or this particular item or this particular slicer, right? And that's what this average for all customers does, is that this will always be a, a number which does not change regardless of the selection you make here. And let's have a look at what I've done there. I haven't had to do too much. All I've had to do is just make sure that this customer's filter, anything that is from the customer's table, does not apply to the current context, right? And so this is going to allow me to iterate regardless of selection through every single customer now and receive and retrieve the um, retrieve uh, the, the sales. And that and that's and that's how we can work out well what is the common custom behavior and then compare it to say a selection or a grouping of customers that we might want to select and that's where it can get quite um quite fancy in your analysis and you can say okay well say you know, this is just looking at all customers but say you wanted to group those customers by say yeah region or if they were a good or a bad or if they were a high margin low margin client etc etc well this is how you could then compare it to just the whole you can compare it to everyone
And then what I've also done is I've done it for transactions, right? And this is also another really interesting thing. You could go and have a look at, you know, are there products that on a, on on the whole, from a you know uh, behavior perspective, customers generally on on average purchase way more of. And I used exactly the same technique. I uh, went and calculated up uh, for every single customer um, what are their total transactions on average and then I jumped back and put that inside the calculate statement with all and that gives me the overall behavior of every single customer in our data set and then we can compare it to whatever selection we make. So pretty powerful stuff right and there's lots of um, lots of different applications for techniques similar to this um, and that's um, you know it's really powerful stuff that you can achieve in Power BI around you know, analyzing behavior or, or average average behavior um, <clears throat> and then being able to compare it to a small subset or or a, you know a selection that you make so so lots of applications okay well, I'm going to round things off there all the best uh, you know, utilizing uh, these sort of formulas and, and these techniques in your in your own environments and um, also don't forget to subscribe to enterprise DNA TV um, putting out a lot of content on power bi so um, certainly keep a watch out for that and um, certainly want to deliver it to you as, uh, as soon as it comes out okay all the best talk to you soon